Welcome to today's vlog. It is this tripod. I have it on the old tripod. Which I'll take off. Not the old one, but one of the other ones I got from the bin time. And I just don't like it. It doesn't, like the camera doesn't screw in tight. It's what wobbles. So it's this one. I've got this one that I like. I gotta find the end for it, which I know is up here because I just saw it. Oh, good grief. Good grief, Pam. Why oh, you have such a messy desk? Because I'm creative, right? Alright, I don't know where it's at. I'm gonna have to forget about it. Let's go. Okay, I totally realized I did not tell you guys what we're doing. Um, we have to, we're going to the doctor for Sterling. Um, as you guys know, Strong has bad anxiety, and it's getting really bad. Um, her tummy aches are more and more and more and more, almost to the point where it's every day. And um, we just want to make sure there's nothing else going on, you know. So we're heading to the doctor. Wish us good luck. I need something to drink. So, how'd your appointment go? Good, I guess. Good? Yeah. <laughs> Going to Joanne's, I need some more tender touch. I'm forever running out. So it is now 11.42. Um, I just finished up a JoJo. This is the only one I made today. And that is okay because um, the next ones are due to ship out, I think, Friday. I think I have four that are due to ship out Friday. This is the only one I have that supposed to ship out tomorrow because I already got all the other ones that were supposed to ship out done. So um, we ended up going to go get Sterling's medicine. As you guys know, we took her to the doctor this morning. And, you know, it's been quite a while since she's actually been to the doctor. Um, I think the last time she went was to a walk-in clinic when she was sick. But she does have a cold right now, and so does Journey. Journey's nose is constantly running. Could also be allergies, but I'm pretty sure it's cold. <laughs> um, but uh, we did take her to the doctor, and um, we just discussed, as most of you probably know, and excuse my hair, I took a, a shower earlier. <laughs> um, but as most of you know, Sterling has a lot of anxiety issues. And for a while, I thought they were getting better but here I say within the past I don't know, maybe like a couple months even like they've just gotten really bad um the other day she had a panic attack um she had a panic attack at the con I don't think I've ever went into it but um yeah she had a full-blown panic attack and got to where she just wanted to lay on the ground. She didn't feel good. Her belly hurt. She was just shaky and nervous and scared and uh, I don't know. Um, but we worked through it, you know. Got her to a better 
to calm down and um, put her inside the stroller and put a blanket over it and got her and she, I think she actually dozed off and then when she got up she did feel better and so um, but the other day she had another one we were home she had to go to grandma and papa's house and she worries about things that you know normal people well, I won't say normal people but people children like a 12 year old child should not worry about um, she was worried because she had to go to grandma and papa's house and I guess because she wasn't feeling so good she, she has a phobia of throwing up and so it was what if I get down there I'm going to throw up like why are you worrying about this you're not sick and she wasn't sick she didn't have no virus or anything like that so I just didn't know why I'm like why are you I'm collecting these aren't supposed to be down here these are supposed to be upstairs I got these to make I got this one to make Sterling a hair bow that's going to match a dress that I got at Children's Place and then I went with the smaller one to make Journey one so I'm gonna show up and then I got these two because I thought this would look good for little surround bows on I don't know what but, but anyway so we talked with the doctor and we had to fill out some questionnaires and yeah um she was just like yeah she does have you know some anxiety issues going on there and um we're trying a medicine um I'm not really I keep seeing things and I take this upstairs. I got these at that bin time. Squirrel! Squirrel! I got these at the bin time and they're just little unicorn rings and I got them to put in the Easter eggs for church. Um, but anyway, I'm not really one. I don't like to give, you know, medication. Personally, I don't like to take a lot of medication. Like the only medication that I really take well, you know, when I was trying to get pregnant, you know, I was taking that medication, but ibuprofen is probably like the strongest pain reliever that I take. Um, I don't like to take any kind of like pain pills, um, anything like that. So anyway, getting off the subject. Um, it is, she, I'll have to get the name of it. I don't even remember. Um, but she said it was actually an antihistamine. And she said it's like a very low dose antihistamine and it just seems to calm um, children down and it's, you know, non-habit forming or anything like that. You can quit it at any time. It doesn't, you know, it's not like an antidepressant or uh, anything like that. So we have that and we're going to try it for two weeks and we go back in two weeks and we'll see how it goes. She did recommend some counseling and um uh, there is a counselor i know his name is shane and my son actually went to him when he was younger because he had a f anxiety issues as well um about going to school but anyway so i'm hoping this is going to i want to alleviate some of the problems that she's having a lot of tummy issues a lot of you know her tummy don't feel good her head hurts and a lot of that goes along with anxiety like you just worry yourself so much that you get a tummy ache um so i'm just trying to you know make i don't want her to have to have the struggles that she goes through with you know having her stomach hurt and you know day in day out and yeah so hopefully in the next two weeks it'll go good but I'm going to close up everything down here and go up and head to bed I actually didn't sleep that good last night because I knew I had to get up early and go to this doctor's appointment her doctor's appointment was at 9 15 so um but I'm going to go upstairs and yeah so ah <sighs> I, I still want to Oh my goodness, the stupid computer is updating. It updated almost every single night this week. But um, I'm hoping to get back into vlogging a lot more. I haven't just, I just haven't been picking up the camera to be quite honest with you. It's just, um, and I know you guys like seeing the Melco run. And basically that's all I've been running lately. I, I, I haven't even 
been running them. Don't mind him. He still looks like that. I didn't put his thing back on him. But yeah, I haven't I haven't run those guys since I got that working. And really, um, I at at right now at this point I don't really have any need to unless I get a lot of orders in one day where they all have to go out, then I will, you know, I'll fire them up. Or if I don't have the color, I try to get all the colors I need. I have all them up there. I have a couple, don't mind the mess. It's always a mess time. And then a bunch of colors over here. So this is just where I stuck them for now. But there are a few colors I want to get, which is, I want to get more of this one because I really like this green. And it looks like it is number 1649. And then this was a really, was this it? No. No, 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 no. I think it was, are these the same color? It was one of these two. It was really good. Color, was it 1724 or was it 1980? I don't know which one it was. One of these two was really good um, for outlining Batman. It just matched it really good. So those, I want to get that. I want to get this green. Um, these were ones that came at a flea market. There was like these rolls like right here um, inside of a baggie. They had like four or five spools, actually maybe more than that. In a baggie for like a buck, so I picked some of them up <laughs> like this. But anyway, and all these full ones are the ones that I bought. And the funny thing is, is I bought this one and I already have this one. So it's on the machine right now. I thought it was a different pink, but it wasn't. But yeah, so anyway, I'm going to go ahead and add head, head, head to bed. I want this one too, 18, 1838. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you. Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. I have you on a tripod sitting in the little thing on the door where I usually put you. But anyway, um, this morning we ran to the post office, mailed a couple packages, went and dropped the trash, and went to get us a coffee, which I think I left upstairs. But I did get another ARB flight sorter. Um, I've been ordering from them very regularly because honestly, the price, the, the shirts are like $5.50, but then when you add in shipping, they're like just under six bucks. If you order um, a lot at one time. I tried to order 14, it's like kind of the cutoff. It's like if I order 14 shirts, the shipping is $7.95. If I go 15, it bumps up to $12.95. So I try to order 14 at a time, but this order right here, um, I don't think I had to order 14 shirts, so I just ordered what I needed. And then I just placed another order yesterday because I, of course, I needed more. But uh, let me just try to figure out what we got. looking for it. I have a order for a 5T ruffle shirt and I was going to make that. I was going to set it up real quick um, to stitch out. My husband hasn't gone to work yet but I got two size 6s, size 3T. Like I'm like this is where I've been keeping my shirts down here and these are like blank cuts out. I'm these as you guys know I've been reusing the little plastics that come in there so when um, I make a shirt 
I usually stick it back in here, but then sometimes I just grab my shirts and go upstairs and I forget to grab the little plastic, so I have a little, a few extras. I guess I'll stick those down here, but that's my five key. One of these has got to be my local. I think it's this one. Yep. Okay. Try to keep them like this so that way yeah I have my two three four five six eight and I don't do a lot with like the larger sizes so I usually have eight ten twelve all in the same little thing but I to... I'm making a mess. I don't think I ever really I'm editing vlogs now and I realize like some like I think I show you guys something and then I'm like all of a sudden jump in and oh look at this and I never showed it um I think I did show you guys this shelf that I ended up putting in here um I'm still as you can tell it's still a mess and I'm trying I'm getting to the point now where I can take a little bit of time like I totally organized all these fabrics down here um but this is probably over within the last week this is what it got to looking like. I had them all stacked in. I probably still do have some stacks down here somewhere. <laughs> but I had them all separated. You can see here. Right? I had my reds and purples, my blues, my greens, and then my um, browns and stuff in one package. And then I was slowly, I'm going to go through all of these fabrics and organize them again. Because look at it's a mess. And yeah, and then back over here is my heat press, and it's kind of buried right now. Um, I have to figure out what to do with these totes. And that tote, the closet is full. Um, we do have another closet. I'll show you guys. This is the other. This is a closet here, and it is full. I'm afraid to open it. Yeah, look at. It mainly has my husband's costumes. Which, if you don't know, he's into, or I was into costuming and building costumes. And there's the uh, Royal Guard helmet right there in a bucket. I don't know what he's doing with, but these are his costumes. And then it has the stroller is here. It has this big ball because we have no no idea to do with it, what to do with it. Uh, Nathan's bed, and then we got Sterling's junk, just tons of Sterling's stuff um as well as over there is a ton hey, of sterly stuff what i gotta go to work no you don't you want her down there sure huh? yeah okay give me that puff it looks delicious really right good Abby. Yeah. It's cold down here. Put us on some TV. Y'all done turned on the AC down here? No.
look so cute out here. I just have to come. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Put that in slow motion. <laughs> you're, uh, you're, you're, yeah, babo. <laughs> hmm. Maybe, maybe this chair will work better. If I just stuff the pillow here. You know those are for plants, right? Yeah. They work better if changed. What are you doing, Jaren? Throwing bubbles? Are <laughs> you <laughs> blowing bubbles? Don't blow it in her face. You guys are getting full of... Uh. I need to clean Soap. Clean Just watch her out here. I don't want her to go. I don't want her to look over the edge. And be like, oh. I'm going to have help? to go in because I got to clean my room. Up so let's just go to school in You got to do your school work. Oh, baby. Except for my. Did you take your medicine? Not yet. You need to take it. Except for my um, science and history. I did <clears throat> yesterday. <laughs> 